Hey everybody, John here from Astoria Ford with another great review and video of a cool car. This toaster looking thing is called a Toyota FJ Cruiser. It's a 2011, it's loaded with options. Okay, starting in the back here, you're gonna have your nice spare tire, which also includes the reverse camera and a tow hitch. Opening the back is gonna reveal a large cargo area, which also includes a nice uh, rubberized floor mat throughout the cab on the floor here, and you can fold the seats down. Now, frankly, I played with the seats for just a little bit. I'm not sure if they go down any further. I'm sure they do, but it does open up your space. And you got lots and lots of headroom inside here. There's also a nice LED lamp right in the cargo area, up front where the passengers are gonna be, and up front for the driver. This has storage in mind. Your place for your jack and uh, tools here. You have multiple tie down points, another pocket here for storage. You've got more, uh, you can put different things in here. You've got hooks so you can hang up your jacket. Now getting in the back is a little interesting because the door actually opens the opposite way you would expect. It opens out like so. Then you get in the back here. If you notice here, there's a completely rubberized floor mat all the way up to the front, including the very front. And then it has the optional carpeting floor mat. Looking on the side, you're gonna notice the vehicle has a roof rack on it. It's got a nice white top. It's got an FJ LED light bar on the top there. I'll show you in a minute here. On the bottom, you have lots and lots of ground clearance. So going off-road is gonna be very easy. Looking at the front, you're gonna have some nice projector headlights, a nice grill, which includes a diode dynamics LED light bar, which is super bright. The headlights do have halos, which are color changeable. It also includes the Ultra Motorsport wheels and Cooper tires. On the bottom of the bumper, you're gonna have Explore LED light pods. You're gonna have some heavy duty tow hooks, a nice bash plate on the bottom to protect the whole vehicle. It has a synthetic winch rope, which is made uh, by X2O. Nice winch bumper here as well. Now there's two ways to operate this winch. One is with the wireless remote here, and you can actually connect the cord into here and use it wired as well. On the top, you'll notice a nice, large, single row uh, Dow Dynamics light bar. Inside the FJ Cruiser is pretty interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on, yet it's simple. So right here on the dash, there's a little button you can press, which includes a storage compartment. Going over to the side here, you're gonna find a compass, an outside thermometer, and a little gauge that shows you what angle your vehicle is at, whether you're up or down or at an angle. The windshield has three windshield wipers on it. Once you turn those on, like so. Feels like I'm in a space shuttle. It has your power mirrors here, your brightness adjustment, your headlights, your volume controls, your cruise control, your Bluetooth with your phone hang up and pick up right here, and voice command. CD player display here, it says Toyota on it. It's also got your heating rear window. It's got air conditioning, of course, a trailer brake control module. Here's the switches for the light bars. I believe this right here is going to be for the winch power, uh, rear locking differential, the A track, USB and auxiliary port, and a 12 volt socket. You've got cup holders. You've got your cord for your winch or your winch control here. Then you have your four-wheel drive low, four-wheel drive high, and two-wheel drive. On the side here, you're gonna have a nice deep center or glove box here. You can put lots and lots of stuff in it. The mirror here will automatically dim. If you get somebody driving right behind you, blinding you, it dims. You know, the FJ Cruiser is a pretty exciting vehicle for me. One of the things I really like is the inside. So inside, all of your controls are easy to use mostly because the controls are inside the car, not upside and on the roof or out on the spare tire or who knows, underneath the car. I can uh, turn the radio on right here with just my hand when I'm driving. I can turn the air conditioner on, turn the heater on. Looking down right here, I can see the speedometer. That, that's a pretty good feature to have. Headlights, I can turn those on and off right here too. Yeah, come check this thing out.
All right, so go ahead and check us out online at Dane Gouges Storia Ford or stop by and make sure you ask for John. If you're looking around online, go ahead and give us a call and ask for John.